This episode of Let's Knit Together is sponsored by YarnMarket.com. Fabulous fashions, fast and friendly. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, blocking lace. In episode 20, Knitting with Holes, we covered how to follow lace charts. In this episode, we'll continue our study of lace by showing you how to block lace. If you've ever knitted lace, I'm sure that you've noticed that it looks like a sack of cheesecloth while you're knitting it, and it doesn't become beautiful until it's blocked and opened up. Blocking lace shawls and scarves is a little different than blocking a sweater, but it uses the same basic steps. Wet, measure, and then pin. However, with lace shawls and scarves, you're also trying to open up and stretch the lace evenly. Take your knitted lace. Do not weave in the ends until the blocking process is complete. For lace, I like to wet the project all the way through to be sure that the lace stretches out evenly. Start by soaking the shawl in cool water with a wool wash for a few minutes until the water has saturated the fiber. Drain and squeeze out the piece slightly. Do not wring. Lay it out and roll it in a towel to get the remaining excess water out. It should still be damp. Now we'll start the blocking stage. I'll demonstrate using these smaller lace pieces, however the same technique applies to larger pieces. You just need a bigger space. If you want to block a really large item, you can do it on a bed or a carpet, or I use these children's foam floor tiles. I just lay them down in the shape of the finished piece and cover them with a sheet or a towel. For these smaller pieces, I'll just use the blocking board. Let's start out blocking a square. Find the center point of the square and place a pin there. Begin by pulling each edge close to the desired size. When the holes begin to open up, place a pin as a marker. Then measure the same distance to the center from each edge and place a pin at the top, sides, and bottom. Now place the pins for the corners evenly from the center. Now thread your blocking wires along each edge or through the points if there are any and pin down to dry. Now let's try the same thing with a circle. Start out again by pinning the center. Then measure from the center to the desired radius, pulling until the holes open up a bit and pin at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. Halfway between the other pins you've already placed, measure the same distance from the center, pulling on the curve and pinning it down. Pin out all of the other points. Once the lace is dry, carefully pull out all the pins and wires. Give it a quick shake to fluff it out, and there you are. Now it looks like lace. Shirley Payton is a well-known designer of lace garments, and she recently came out with this book, Knitwear Design Workshop. It's a creaky book when you open it, but it's spiral-bound and it lays flat. Although it's not specifically a book about lace, Shirley guides you through designing garments for yourself with clear garment shaping examples and how to apply stitch patterns for different designs. She also shows how to customize garments for your shape. This gorgeous lace coat on the cover is an example of her design and is an inspiration to try your hand at your own designs. Our next live show is scheduled for May 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Go to letstittogether.com slash live for complete details on how to participate. Thanks to Daria from Sweden, we discovered that our DVD website had gone down for a while, but we managed to get it back up and running. If you've tried to buy our DVDs recently and couldn't, head on over to letstittogether.com slash DVD. Remember, sales of the DVDs help support the show. This month, YarnMarket.com is highlighting ribbon yarns for spring. A popular ribbon yarn that I really love is Colinette Choto, which has some really beautiful colorways. As you can see, the Morocco colorway is one of my favorites. 
Ribbon yarns are great for short sleeve and tank tops, and Colinette has some really great projects that are perfect for spring and summer, like this Ariel tank top and this Ornetta shaped tee. The drape on these finished projects is really elegant. Check out yarnmarket.com for Johto and other ribbon yarns for your next tanker tee. And if you've never knitted with ribbon yarn before, go to letsknittogether.com and check out episode 4, Top 10 Tips for Ribbon Knits. You can follow me and Eric on Twitter at twitter.com slash letsknittogether and twitter.com slash ericsush. Bye! See you next time! And? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. And action. It should still be damp. Let's just do it one more time again. Anyway. And pin down to dry. You didn't say action. I know. You went before I said action. <laughs> I was just going to let you go, but that's all right. Let's do it now. Ready? Here we go. And action. Shirley's pin... Thanks to Daria from Sweden, we discovered that our DVD... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I sound like I was singing? <laughs> A little bit. It sounded... <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Take off to the great white north. <laughs> Take off. <laughs> That's Giddy Lee. <laughs> from Rush. <laughs> Nobody is going to know that one. Uh, a lot of people will know that. <laughs> Take off? Yeah. That's the hit single. Everybody knows that. <laughs> what is the rest of the words? It's a beauty way to go? Was it's that a bit, Well, that's the rest of the words, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't check this camera.